Well, no props now and no holds barred. Second part is a clash between our two startups as they try to hog the airtime and convince our panel with their debating skills on the following question. Fan experience, focus on the audience or on the game? The pitch is yours, gentlemen. But I would say it's a little bit of both, actually. I think it's about the game and about providing engaging content in the game itself for fans. So it's not about improving the game and it's not about just providing engaging content through, for example, AR or from, uh, from Pop and Link. It's a, what it is about is about providing a good quality game for fans and, and tying the two together using digital. So, for example, one really good way of doing that would be when you're watching a game, say, for example, at half time, from, from, from an AR aspect, you can actually hold your phone up, it would scan the pitch itself, and you can actually play games during half time. I think what you can do uh, with the pop, you can communicate with others. You can just put your smartphone and say, I would like to share that. I take picture on the video. What I'm seeing, I push it on a tweet, I push it on Facebook, I push it on Instagram on Instagram so that people, you share the emotion. You can really also communicate with the others, the emotion, which is very important in the sense you engage. But I think you can get more from AR. I think you can deliver further content, better content, more content. And I think the, sh the, the social sharing aspect of it is great, yeah. but you can get that from AR plus. The good news then is that yeah. if you love the product, we can embed yours in ours <laughs> because Again, our technology is not just one technology. We believe that we are a gateway that so would be brilliant. Yeah, ARDP for That's you. our seven minutes up. All right, gentlemen, Eric Brigand, you now have 76 points going forward to your next game. And you, Daniel, have 70. Well done to both of you.